Hello, so in this video, I will be reviewing the Kurutake Kansai Tanbi watercolors as well as these new the watercolor brush pens. Never had these, never used these, seen a lot of my friends use them, so I want to finally try them out. Considering I also got myself a nice new palette and a new sketchbook for me to play around with and use. This uh, sketchbook is the B Paper Company. Um, I've used this company's sketchbooks for about three years now. I actually have the smaller version. This is my third one, I believe, the smaller version. My art teacher in high school gave me all of them. And I found that I like this company's paper a lot. Um, it's thick enough for me to work in both Copic and in watercolor. Um, it does get drenched sometimes, given it's not meant for watercolor, but it is multimedia and multimedia mixed media, and the paper is rather strong. So I've come to like it a lot. And I also use it before my everyday regular sketching and other small findings. The main point of this video is, of course, my new Kuretake Kansai Tanbi watercolors. Um, Kuretake is actually sometimes mistaken by some people to be a Chinese company, but it is actually, in fact, Japanese, um, understandably. Some people might get confused because Japanese kanji is Chinese character derived. Um, so if you're not familiar with both languages, you may confuse that, but it is in fact Japanese. Anyways, um, I'll just go ahead to opening this and showing you guys what the inside looks like. So as you can see, it comes with a plastic cover, which I'll just go ahead and remove. And it comes with a large array of colors, or right, variety of colors, 36 colors. Um, I'm still not quite good at watercolor. I, I still pretty much consider myself a newbie, consider, especially considering I haven't done it in over a year or so. Uh, so when it comes to coloring and painting in general, I'm not very good at mixing colors. So I decided to go ahead and give myself a rather large variety to choose from with lots of full pans. On the back of each pan is the name of each color in both Japanese hiragana and the number associated with the color according to the company. As you can tell, it's- whoa, what happened there? As you can tell, it's not written in English on the box packaging nor the back of the pans. Actually, you guys will see later, it's written in English somewhere else. Uh, so on the paints did come cracked. It's, it didn't- I don't think it'll serve to be a problem at all, problem at all in the future if I just re it and use it regularly or as it's meant to be used, I'm sure it'll remold and reshape together, as watercolors tend to do. Like I said, on the back of the packaging, back of the cover, it's actually everything is written with English names, and they also give a little space to sample the paints, but I'll be sampling it both on the back cover and in the sketchbook. So I'll just go ahead and fill up these brush pens up with water, and then get started with the swatching. So as you can see, I'm just going through the brush pens. They come in three sizes for both round tip and flat tip, um, from small, medium to large, for both the round tip brush and the flat brush. I'll just be going through each color when I swatch them, both for behind the cover and in the sketchbook. Um, I'll go through these both of these rather quickly. Um, I'll show the full samples for the swatchings at the very end of the video, or if you like, you can just go ahead and skip straight to the end. <laughs> Only a bit too quickly for the names of the colors to show up um, on the screen, so in the description below, I'll be writing down all the names, purely English, and Japanese, and their numbers, in order from left to right, top to bottom about the box and how they are sampled. I'll be sampling in the same, swatching them in the same order, um, both on the back of the cover and in my sketchbook. I see sampling as if this is food or something, but no, swatching. Clearly, um, my brain and my stomach are having the same thoughts, um, which doesn't really pertain to this video, I suppose. You guys may not know this, but it's actually pretty late for me right now. 2.33 a.m., which I find a perfectly reasonable time to be awake. Um, because I'm now I'm a computer science student. Um, 
pretending to be an art student online as I post a bunch of my artwork and talk about how I do art. Um, but no, um, I'm not a legitimate art student. I actually do computer science for my studies and I just do art as a hobby, uh, one of my major hobbies, albeit. Anyways, I'm nearing the end of swatching for the back of the cover and I'll be immediately moving on to swatching for the same arrangement of colors in the sketchbook and also be doing a small testing of how the colors bleed and overlay. And that's that. So as you can see, I already went ahead and did the swatching for the sketchbook. Um, I did not go ahead and record it just because I didn't think it would make sense to make you guys sit through another swatching for the same exact colors, albeit on different media, meet on, albeit on different um, surface. But um, I just went ahead and showed how these colors showed up on the paper, how they put into each other, and how they layered to basically make stuff. As I said, it's late and my brain is not quite functioning at best. Anyways, that's just my watercolor clips back there. Anyways, so I already went ahead and painted something. I'll include the link to this speed paint for this down below and in the video if I remember to do that. But yeah, I think I got a lot of use out of all, most of these colors for this one painting. Um. I like how it came out. I haven't done any traditional paintings or screen draws in a while, so I kind of missed it. Here we are, the color swatching for the back of the cover, which they provided. Um, I zoomed in to see so that you guys can see the, how the colors are. Um, the white actually does not look quite opaque here, but when I used white to highlight parts of my painting, it uh, came out a bit more opaque. I use that because my white gel pen that I use to highlight actually is dried out so I cannot use that to highlight my paintings anymore. Anyways, this is a swatching in the sketchbook. Um, I wrote the names in Japanese, yes, as you may have noticed. Um, I am not Japanese, but it's just a way for me to practice my Japanese. I am currently studying in Japanese and planning to minor in it. Anyways, these are close-ups of small sample drawings and paint tests that I did below the color swatch in the sketchbook. I think I'm happy with how most of these came out. Um, I think I'll get a lot of, a lot of use out of these uh, pans and this oh, palette overall in the future. Um, it's the first watercolor I've gotten for myself, so I'm extremely happy about it. So some of you, get, some of you guys but I have been wondering what is going on in the background wall. I actually recently bought myself a body clean. Um, I'll also be doing a video review on this soon enough. So I hope you guys will wait and I'll see you guys later.